Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to explain how to run TensorFlow Object Detection API on new M1 MacBooks. Okay, so as you might know, it might be pretty, you know, tricky to install some of the dependencies of TensorFlow and so on on new M1 MacBooks. And I have already created another video, which I, will, I explain that how you install TensorFlow on your MacBook. And if you don't know how to do it, you need to watch those videos. So this video requires some prerequisite and you need to know how to create a Python environment, how to install TensorFlow, and then you can come to this video tutorial and watch it. I will put a link to those videos in the description and you can watch them and make your environment ready and then you can continue with this tutorial. Okay, so here um, I have one of the examples of object detection on TensorFlow website and I want to run it on my uh, personal computer. So you need to download this in order to run it. But before that, we need to install some, some stuff like Jupyter Notebooks, uh, TensorFlow, Hop, Matplotlib, Pillow, and so on. And for doing that, let's go to the terminal. Okay, so I am already in my Python environment that I created using Conda and it is called test open CV. So I have like Python installed and everything ready. So I am I'm, I'm good to go. Okay, I have also explained in my previous videos how to install this version of Python and so on. And um, okay, first things first, you need to have Xcode installed on your on your laptop. So if you don't have it, you just need to go to App Store and then there you need to search for Xcode and if you do not have it installed then please install it because for the pillow installation you need some of the Xcode tools. Okay, uh, next thing you need to install on uh, Jupyter Notebook that's for running the object detection example. Um, and you need to run this command for the installation. I will put all of these commands in the description of the video, so you don't need to worry. And I already have it installed, so I don't run it again. But please do that to have your Jupyter ready for the, you know, for the example. And then you need to upgrade your pip using this command. Um, because you need to install TensorFlow Hop, but it's better to, you know, upgrade pip you can just basically run this command and I already have it updated so I don't need to run it again and then you need to run this command for installing um, tensorflow hop because it uses uh, tensorflow hop here and I have it installed so I don't need to run it again and then you also need matplotlib for for this code but in order to install matplotlib you need to uh, install pillow before that so for for the pillow installation you need to run some commands you need to install Cython and also this one this command okay I need the smart in the beginning and then as you can see, I already have NumPy and everything ready. And you also need to install libjpg for for Pillow. And um, I also do not need to install it because I, I already have it. And then in the last step, you have to run pip install Pillow. So once you have Pillow installed, then you can install matplotlib. You might get a notification for running this command. This is just basically for accepting the Xcode license because during the, the pillow installation, you need to use some of the Xcode tools, as I said, and you just need to accept it. So if you, if you face this 
an error which needs you to run this command, uh, don't panic. Okay, then you can install matplotlib with this command. Okay, perfect. So now that we have all of the dependencies installed, we can run our Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so I have already downloaded this notebook and it's in my documents and I run it. And as you can see here, I am able to run the code and I should be able to run the code without any errors. Perfect. I could just import everything without any problems. Have this one, apply module. Okay, so this is the image. This is going to download a module. It will take some time. I don't know what is that error, but I think it'll work. Okay, so as you can see, it could detect objects in this image. I'm not sure why we're getting this error, but probably I'm using TensorFlow version 2. Uh, this error happens, but you can just play around with different models and you can just download them from the TensorFlow Hub website. So I think you should be acquainted with this, that here you can just go to image and then choose your desired uh, you know architecture and then download a model and then try it with, with that one thank you very much for watching this video if you're interested to see more video tutorials don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching